Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to be testing out the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and I'm going to compare it to the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi on your Xbox One S, and I'm going to see which one is faster, close, and which one is faster, further away. So let's go ahead and test them out and see which one you should be using. So I have my Xbox One set up right at my desk here and my wireless router is located right on the floor. And my next spot I'm gonna go ahead and test is located right behind me. I'll be testing it on the TV over there and that should be about 40 to 50 feet away from where my wireless router is located. So let's go over to my Xbox and test out how it is up close. Okay, so for this test, I'm gonna do everything just on the Xbox and I'm gonna test the speeds on here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the Xbox button on my controller and then go all the way to the right to settings. Then go over to network settings. So I'm gonna to go to setup wireless network. Now under my network, I have two different Wi-Fi's. I have my 2.4 gigahertz, which is called Mr. Beast. Then my 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi is called Miss Beast. So I'm currently connected to my 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go down to test network speeds and statistics, checking connection. Okay, so here are the results. My 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi up close has a download speed of 282, upload speed of 20, and my latency is 34, and the wireless strength is 100%. Now let's go over to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and test that out. All right, so I'm now testing my connection speeds on my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. All right, so I went from 282 around there to 125. My upload speed stayed the same. My latency slightly went up to 37 from 34, where the strength is 100%. So pretty much the only thing that I saw change was my download speed went down pretty much 150 megabytes per second. All right, so this was my test up close. Let's go over to my TV that is further away. All right, so I'm over on my big screen TV. You can kind of see me in the reflection there waving. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my wireless connection and do the test with the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi first and then go to the 2.4 gigahertz. So this is at about 50 to 60 feet away from my router. All right, so I'm now testing my 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is pretty interesting actually. My download speed went down about 10 only from like 282 to 272. My upload speed dramatically went down. I went from 20 down to 2.8. My path loss is zero. My latency, I would say pretty much is the same, went from 34 to 35. And the wireless strength went down from 100% down to 70%. So that's actually really interesting. Um, my download speed is pretty much the same. My upload speed dramatically went down and this is only at 70% strength. All right, let's switch over to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and just see how much that changed. Okay, so I tested this a few times and my download speed, it went from about 122 to 124 up close to about 50 feet away to 95. So I lost about 30 megabytes per second. My upload speed also went down quite a bit. Um, what was it before? It was about 20 and it went down to 2.38. And my path loss is zero. Latency is about the same. My wireless strength is 100%. So that is actually the only thing that I'm seeing better than the 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi at this range is my wireless strength. All right, so I would say the results are pretty definitive. The 5.0 gigahertz Wi-Fi is much quicker with the download speed and the upload speed is about the same, it seems for me at least. However, the main difference I saw was the coverage and the distance in which the single actually drops off. So if you are having like a placement of your Xbox that is further away from your wireless router, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi 
actually may be better for you because it has a wider coverage and it can penetrate walls much better. And we saw that with the signal strength on my test results. I had 100% at like 50 to 60 feet away from my wireless router. And when I was on the 5.0, I was only at like 70% signal strength. So, I mean, I lost 30% just moving 50 to 60 feet away. So if you're gonna be going through a couple different walls, different floorings, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi may be better for you, even though some of the download speeds might be a little bit slower, you'll have a higher signal strength. So we'll see. At some point, there's gonna be a drop off of the benefits with the 5.0 and the benefits for the 2.4 gigahertz at those longer ranges will start to kick in and you'll probably have higher download speeds and a higher upload speed and a better latency the further you get away from your wireless route. So check them out yourself, compare them, and see the results for yourself. But if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.